another focus of my practice is on kidney cancer. Uh, kidney cancer is uh, any type of, uh, of tumor that grows in the actual body of the kidney. Uh, you'll hear about two types of tumors growing in the kidney. Uh, the one that's uh, generally referred to as kidney cancer is uh, renal cell carcinoma, or at least that's the most common type uh, of tumor of the kidney. Uh, there's another entity uh, called upper tract urothelial carcinoma, and what that is is essentially bladder cancer that's growing in the lining of the kidney. So the lining of the urinary system is the same, or it's urothelium, all the way from the kidneys lining all the way down the ureters, which are the tubes that drain the kidneys, and all the way down into the bladder, the entire lining of the bladder, and then the urethra, the tube that drains the urine outside the body. So if that entire lining is urothelium, then any cancer in there is urothelial carcinoma. So whereas bladder cancer would be urothelial carcinoma of the bladder, uh, urothelial carcinoma of the renal pelvis or the lining of the kidney would be upper tract urothelial carcinoma. So both of these types of cancers of the kidney uh, require different types of treatments. When it comes to uh, uh, the more common type of cancer in the kidney or renal cell carcinoma, this is generally treated uh, uh, as in an individualized approach uh, by the size of the tumor as the most important criteria. So uh, the location of the tumor plays a role as well, um, but ultimately uh, whatever we think is the best way of removing the cancer from the patient's body is how we would approach it. For an example, if you had a uh, tumor on the periphery or the outside of the kidney, oftentimes our goal is to preserve as much normal kidney as possible and just cut the tumor off of the kidney, leaving the regular uh, or unaffected part of the kidney uh, in the body. Uh, sometimes if you then have a tumor that's more central or say it's in the center of the kidney, you may reach a point where we can't just take the tumor out uh, and leave the kidney in a functional state. And so if that's the case, oftentimes we take the entire kidney out. So if we remove just the tumor from the kidney, that's what's called a partial nephrectomy. Or if we remove the entire kidney, that's what's called a radical nephrectomy. Um, I don't like using the term radical often when referring to surgeries for patients because it oftentimes uh, spooks them into thinking that it's a more aggressive treatment. Uh, whereas the outcomes are about the same for patients, uh, when you, whether you remove the, the, just the tumor or you remove the entire kidney. And the reason for that is uh, the most important thing is just entire removal of the tumor itself. Uh, and, and that is what affects the likelihood of the cancer coming back. With that said, if we can you know, allow the normal kidney to remain in place, uh, then that preserves more kidney function. And so that's so why we always have a preference for removing uh, just the tumor if possible instead of the entire kidney. But uh, patients should know that whenever we're making a recommendation of one versus the other, it's generally what's the best, uh, the best case uh, for preserving their kidney function, but also preserving uh, the oncologic efficacy or the effectiveness of their operation. So we have to individualize that uh, for each tumor and for each patient. When it comes to uh, upper tract urothelial carcinoma, it leaves uh, less flexibility on the options for removal. So some of them can be treated endoscopically, meaning we don't have to do any surgery on the kidney itself, uh, but we come through scopes through the urethra and use a laser or uh, biopsy forceps or other types of treatments to try to just remove it from the lining. However, uh, as mentioned, with it growing in the lining and the lining being the same all the way down, we oftentimes have to remove the entire kidney and the entire ureter, the tube that drains the kidney, uh, to make sure that we reduce the chance of having recurrence on that side. Uh, and so those approaches uh, you know, can sometimes uh, be more difficult surgeries, but with the advent of laparoscopic and robotic surgery, we're able to do this oftentimes in a very, uh, very safe setting uh, through smaller incisions and a quicker recovery time uh, than used to be historically uh, done for these types of cases.